वेलकम टू द नेशनल फ्रीडम स्ट्रगल क्वेश्चन पेपर पर्टिकुलरली फोकस्ड ऑन 1920 टू 1947 पार्ट एज यूजुअल फर्स्ट गो थ्रू द अवर यूट्यूब चैनल दट इज सावरकर आए स्टडी सर्कल सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन पेपर एंड देन ट्राई टू आंसर सॉरी ट्राई टू ऑब्जर्व दिस लेट एस स्टार्ट कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग नाउ ऑल क्वेश्चन आर सेम consider the following statements and select the most appropriate option two statements are given both true both false one true second false first false second true like that options are there uh, cabinet mission plan was accepted by muslim league but rejected by congress so uh, first statement second according to cabinet mission plan bombay province was in group c now cabinet mission plan was accepted by muslim league answer is no because there was no clear cut uh, words as pakistan what they were demanding so it was not there and what time india was entire india and cabinet mission plan was dividing india into three segments western zone central zone and eastern zone and so uh, western zone and eastern zone having muslim dominancy and central zone was having hindu dominancy so like that so we can say precursor of pakistan it was appearing there but no clear pakistan was there and so muslim league also rejected this plan and congress was also rejected this plan so first statement was false uh, is false second according to cabinet mission plan bombay province was in group a not in c so it is in a so second option is also false so as both options are false answer is b crips mission plan was rejected by congress and muslim league second statement crips mission plan was accepted by hindu mahasabha so uh, first option crips mission plan was rejected by congress and muslim league that is true Uh, there was no clear cut wording of pakistan therefore muslim league refused and according to congress uh, whatever the after war crips was giving that was dominion status and so congress also rejected uh, whereas crips mission plan was accepted by hindu mahasabha answer no hindu mahasabha was also not ready to accept this type of plan and so uh, first is true second is false so uh, first is true second is false option is c during world war 2 there was a meeting between hitler and netaji subhash chandra bose second statement netaji subhash chandra bose was honored as a president of hitler uh, president of india by hitler let us discuss the first that is uh, world war 2 the meeting was there between hitler and netaji subhash chandra bose answer yes it is true this is the thing where villain hitler turns hero for india so uh, no doubt uh, the meeting was very very successful from netaji subhash chandra bose also uh, whatever the prominent leaders of germany at that time so for example he was welcome by ribbentrop the foreign minister of germany and then uh, he was there with various scholars were there to eager to meet him and they asked about uh, lokmanya bal gangadhar tilak then they asked about uh, other books and all that they were having discussion and then the meeting was there with hitler so first statement is true for this purpose it is said that netaji learned german language and communicate with uh, communicated with hitler in german language second netaji subhash chandra bose was honored as a president of india by hitler this is also true so both statements are true do you know why subhash babu went to germany who was the key factor behind that you will search you will get answer that is freedom fighter savarkar consider the following statements and select the appropriate option dandi march was started from dandi and ended at sabarmati ashram second 
दांडी मार्च वॉज इम्पॉर्टंट इन्सिडंट इन नॉन कॉपरेशन मुवमेंट ऑफ नाईन्टीन ट्वेंटी वन सो फर्स्ट स्टेटमेंट दांडी मार्च स्टार्टेड फ्रॉम साबरमती अँड एंडेड ॲट दांडी इट इज रिव्हर्स्ड सो फर्स्ट स्टेटमेंट इज फॉल्स सेकंड दांडी मार्च वॉज इम्पॉर्टंट इन्सिडंट इन दॅट इज सिव्हिल डिसोबिडियन्स मुवमेंट ऑफ नाईन्टीन थर्टी सो हिअर ऑल्सो द स्टेटमेंट इज फॉल्स अँड डर फॉर बोथ स्टेटमेंट आर फॉल्स ऑप्शन बी श्रीलंका इन ब्रॅकेट ॲट दॅट टाइम इट वॉज कॉल्ड ॲज सिलो सो श्रीलंका म्यानमार इन ब्रॅकेट बर्मा वॉज सेपरेटेड फ्रॉम इंडिया अकॉर्डिंग टू मॉन्टेक्यू चेम्सफर्ड ऍक्ट ऑफ नाईन्टीन नाईन्टी सेकंड सिंध वॉज सेपरेटेड फ्रॉम बॉम्बे इन ब्रॅकेट मुंबई प्रॉव्हिन्सी अकॉर्डिंग टू इंडियन गव्हर्नमेंट ऍक्ट ऑफ नाईन्टीन थर्टी फायव्ह सो लेट इस डिस्कस फर्स्ट स्टेटमेंट दॅट सिलोन अँड बर्मा वॉज सेपरेटेड from india according to 1935 act okay so separated from india only it is not that in india provinces are separated but they separated from india and these two things were now considered as separate nation so this is carried out in 1935 so first statement is false second sindh was separated from bombay this statement is true in 1935 because at that time eden was also part of bombay province sindha was also part of bombay province they were separated from bombay whereas uh, sindha was separated and nobody opposed to the surprise but when there was partition of bengal at that time the oppose was there from all over india but here not at all oppose only freedom fighter savarkar said this is the futuristic partition of india that is the thing sixth and uh, so here uh, first statement is false second is true so option d six radcliff line determined the border of india and pakistan in punjab second muslim league declared direct action plan in 1946 so let us discuss radcliffe line determined the border of india and pakistan in punjab answer is true radcliffe commission was set and then they decided to uh, decided what is the line where we can partition of punjab and so one part will be there with india one part will there with be pakistan so today also in case of punjab the border line is called as radcliffe line uh, at that time second so first statement is true second muslim league declared direct action plan in 1946 so when they were not getting what they were demanding at that time they declared direct action plan means we are going to carry out directly rights and like that things they started in 1946 uh, they announced this somewhere around 16th august 96 uh, 16th august 1946 so second statement is also true as both statements are true option is a pingali venkaiya designed the indian tricolor flag subhash chandra bose is founder of indian national army so first statement that is false uh, sorry true pingali venkaiya designed today's whatever the indian tricolor flag that is designed by uh, pingali venkaiya but prior to that such flag or similar not exactly same but uh, looking like tricolor only it was developed designed by uh, freedom fighter savarkar that flag was hosted first time internationally at a conference that was there at stuttgart germany by the great freedom fighter madam kama so she hosted that flag at that time this incident is there somewhere in 19 uh, 1906 or 7 subhash chandra bose is founder of indian national army answer is no the real founder is rasa bihari bose he was there in japan but on behalf of that the practical it is said that captain mohan singh is responsible for this so subhash chandra bose is not the founder 
he was the leader so first is true second is false so option is c subhash chandra bose was expelled from congress party second n c kelkar was member of swarajya party in assembly so first statement is uh, true subhash chandra bose fought election for presidency of congress twice when he was there in second time gandhi ji said that uh, some other person pattabhi sitaramaiya should be my candidate subhash babu fought against him and got victory and then he was expelled from bengal congress only from presidency of bengal congress and all and this way uh, he was expelled from congress party so why particularly uh, i am mentioning here because there are lot of uh, having they will uh, say that we are patriot and all that but the great patriot the great leader of india was expelled from congress party at that time under presence of gandhi ji only and uh, second nc kelkar was the member of swarajya party in assembly answer is true uh, pandit motilal nehru established this type of party in association with other leaders so uh, pandit motilal nehru barrister chittaranjan das nc kelkar they were prominent member of the swarajya party uh, according to 1900 and 19 uh, that morley binto reform uh, sorry montengi chemsford reform we got this opportunity to go in assembly and at that time uh, this incident happened so first statement is true second is also true both true therefore option a ninth one constitution committee of india was set up by electing members directly on the basis of adult franchise second vireshalingam pantalu was the first chairman of the constitution committee of india so first statement uh, constitution committee of india was set up by electing members directly answer is no and basis of adult franchise so no Uh, on basis of adult franchise etc it was not there at that time so constitution committee members were not directly elected on basis of adult franchise okay second so first statement is false vireshalingam pantalu was not present at that time so how he can become president uh, chair person of constitution committee here some mistake is there it is written as consultation committee actually Uh, you have to read this as constitution committee. Uh, may be possible this auto correct because of that this uh, problem is there. So constitution committee of India. So first president was some uh, very old person age wise, but that is only elected for why? The actual president was that is Dr. Rajendra Prasad. So uh, first is false. second is also false both are false therefore option b is the correct answer last question swami ramananda tirtha was involved in the freedom struggle of hyderabad second barrister jinnah was having his house in mumbai called as jinnah mansion discuss swami ramananda tirtha was involved in freedom struggle of hyderabad answer is true uh, at that time the party was established that is called as hyderabad state congress and then indian national congress recognized it as a branch of indian national congress it was led by swami ramananda tirth so first option is true second barrister jina was having his house in mumbai uh, actually is still it is there in mumbai that is called as jina mansion he was staying there till 1946 he was staying there so both statements are true therefore option a is correct option so these answers are given with my knowledge if you are having anything extra you can give it in the comment as well as uh, give evidence of that what you are uh, saying for that purpose evidence